What's up guys? Today's video is on the best Wi-Fi routers in 2022. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price performance or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. At number 7. Synology RT6600AX, best for NAS. The Synology RT6600AX boasts solid performance and familiar hardware design, but the software makes this tri-band Wi-Fi 6 router interesting. Speeds were consistently high in my tests on both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands, with solid coverage throughout my house, marking this as a high mid-table performer. There's a 2.5 Gbps WAN LAN port, 1 Gigabit WAN LAN, 3 Gigabit LAN ports, and a USB A3.2 Gen 1 port. But Synology's expertise is in NAS, network attached storage, so this router can double as a fully fledged NAS server for backups or file sharing. The DS Router mobile app is easy to use and allows you to configure your network, parental controls, and set up a VPN service, though it occasionally crashed on me. It also provides Wi Fi analysis and network security at no extra cost, but there's no cause. If you want to dig deeper, the Linux based Synology Router Manager operating system is comprehensive, with enough options to satisfy advanced folks and loads of potentially useful packages you can add, including Download Station, Media Server, and VPN Plus Server. At number 6. Asus Zen Wi Fi Axe XT8, 2 pack, best for large homes. Consistently delivering a stable high speed Wi Fi connection, the Asus Zen Wi Fi Axe XT8 mesh system tops our best mesh Wi Fi routers guide and is ideal for large homes or houses with dead spots. I like the classy, unobtrusive design in black or white. This system performed well in tests, offering great coverage and close to maximum speeds at close, mid, and long range. I encountered a slight issue during setup that was resolved with a factory reset and firmware update. Over the months since, I have continued using this system hassle-free. Each versatile unit is a full router with 3 gigabit LAN ports, a 2.5 Gbps WAN, LAN, and a USB 3.1. Part of the appeal of Asus routers is the excellent app, packed with features for tinkerers but easy enough for anyone to navigate. All the options you need are here, from band splitting to guest networks to prioritization for specific activities like gaming or video streaming. You also get comprehensive parental controls and anti-malware protection free for the lifetime of the router. The XT8 2-pack can cover a home up to 5,500 square feet, and it supports iMesh, meaning it's easy to add more iMesh routers to expand your network. At number 5. TP-Link Archer GX90 AX6600, Best Budget Gaming Router. If the picks above are too expensive, the slightly more affordable TP-Link Archer GX90. It looks like a Sith Spider, with a square design and 8 antennas, but this gaming-focused behemoth is feature-packed. It's easy to set up and configure, and it bathed my whole home in fast Wi-Fi. There's a game accelerator feature and prioritization, making it easy to reserve bandwidth for gaming. We had no issues with multiple simultaneous gaming sessions. It has a 2.5 Gbps WAN, LAN port, a Gigabit WAN, LAN port, 3 Gigabit LAN ports, and 2 USB ports, a 3.0 and a 2.0. TP-Link's Tether app is very accessible and makes it easy to track traffic, set up guest networks, use parental controls, and prioritize different activities. Confusingly TP-Link offers Home Shield, powered by Avira, on some routers and Home Care, powered by Trend Micro, on others, including this one. Home Care includes comprehensive parental controls, a malicious content filter, intrusion prevention, and infected device quarantine. More importantly, it is free, no subscription necessary. At number 4. Netgear Nighthawk Racks 300, Best Gaming Router with Wi-Fi 6E. If you're ready to turn things up to 11, this is the fastest router I have tested. The curvy spaceship design in matte black is a little more stealthy than your average gaming gear, but those wings contain several antennas for a strong signal throughout your home. The Nighthawk Racks 300 is a tri-band router with Wi-Fi 6E support, covering the 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz, and 6 GHz bands. It serves seamless speedy Wi-Fi during two weeks of testing, with zero issues while handling a revolving mix of four simultaneous gaming and video streaming streams. I downloaded a 30GB game in less than 10 minutes. A single 2.5 Gbps WAN, LAN port, 5 Gigabit LAN ports, 
and a USB-C 3.0 port will be enough for most folks. The Nighthawk app is excellent and offers band splitting, guest network options, and a host of analytical tools. While both the premium smart parental controls, $8 a month or $70 a year, and Netgear Armor, $100 a year, are comprehensive and slick, the extra expense is hard to swallow when many competitors offer cheaper or free alternatives with similar features. That said, Netgear Armor does include Bitdefender security for your devices and Bitdefender VPN for use outside the home. Don't even think about spending more than this unless your internet connection exceeds 1 gigabit per second, and even then you can expect diminishing returns. At number 3. Asus ROG Rapture GTAX 6000, Best Gaming Router My time with the Asus ROG Rapture GTAX 6000 was refreshingly free of issues. It's a big, loud design with four antennas and RGB lighting that screams gamer. Still, it served up speedy, unbroken Wi-Fi throughout my home and garden and didn't flinch at four simultaneous online gaming sessions. It's easy to prioritize gaming devices or activity, and there's a mobile game mode, simple port forwarding, and a dedicated gaming port. Speaking of which, you get two 2.5 Gbps ports, one WAN, LAN and a LAN, four gigabit LANs, one USB 3.2 Gen 1, and a USB 2.0. Like the rest of the Asus range, the mobile app is excellent and boasts all the features you need, including guest network support, band splitting, parental controls, and anti-malware. The Eye Protection Pro and parental controls are free for the device's lifetime so you don't have to make any monthly payments. Asus also offers Instant Guard free with this router, enabling it to secure your public Wi-Fi connections when you are out by running a VPN, virtual private network, server on your router at home, which also means you don't have to share data with a VPN provider. At number 2. TP-Link Archer AX21, Best Budget Router. This impressive Wi-Fi 6 router delivers reliable performance at a relatively low price and succeeds our previous pick, the AX20. Despite the demands of four people video streaming and gaming, I rarely noticed a difference in everyday performance between this and my top pick, the AX55. However, my tests revealed some limitations on the range, and the download speed when installing a new game was noticeably slower than with the rest of our picks. But for most day-to-day -day tasks over a week of testing, this router delivered sterling service. It matches the AX55 with 4 gigabit Ethernet LAN ports and one WAN but only has a USB 2.0. The Tether app is straightforward and packed with all the basic options you need, including traffic prioritization, parental controls, and a guest network. There's no home shield or home care support with this router, but most people don't need those extra services. If you don't care about online gaming performance or have tons of smart home devices, and your home is 1,600 square feet or smaller, you likely don't need to spend more than this. At number 1. TP-Link Archer AX55, Best Overall. This affordable Wi-Fi 6 router is what I think most people should go for. The slick black finish is attractive, and there are four antennas to direct Wi-Fi to every corner. It's worth tweaking and testing different positions. Performance was solid throughout my two-floor, 1,600-square-foot home but dropped off slightly in the back garden. Stability was excellent over a couple of weeks of testing, hitting the upper mid-end in my speed and range tests. This router also ticks off all the feature boxes you want, MU MIMO, beamforming, WPA3, we explain many of these terms in our How to Buy a Router Guide. It has 4 gigabit Ethernet LAN ports, a single gigabit WAN port, and a USB 3.0 port on the back, which is enough for most people. I'm a fan of TP-Link's Tether app, where you can review traffic, split bands, create a guest network, schedule reboots, set automatic updates, and even tell the LED to turn off at night. TP-Link's basic free home shield tier offers network scanning, COS, quality of service, for device prioritization, and basic parental controls so you can filter and blacklist websites. If you want more perks, like time limits for apps, downtime, and real-time security protection, you'll need to upgrade to Home Shield Pro, $6 per month or $55 for the year. Thanks for watching. For more details, follow the links given below in the description section. And if you are new here, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon.